Hello, and welcome to my 2008 informatics capstone video. My name is Marshall Bierke, and I spent the last 10 weeks undertaking a project to help improve printing from the web browser. In this video, I'm going to explain some of the process that I've gone through over the last 10 weeks, including my research methods, interview data, data analysis results, my prototypes, and then tie things up with the information on how my project affects the environment. First, let me take a moment to identify the problem. Working for Hewlett Packard has made me somewhat of a perceived expert in the field of printing. Friends, family, and colleagues frequently come to me with printer problems, hoping that I can help them solve them. I happily assist these individuals on a case-by-case -case basis, but in helping them, I've noticed several patterns. One such pattern is that most printing problems aren't a problem with the printer itself, but rather with the software used to do the printing. Due to the recent prevalence of the web browser as a tool for interacting with computers and the internet, it is the most common piece of software that I get complaints about. People have all sorts of problems when they try to get things from the web browser onto paper. In my capstone, I have set out to identify these problems and potential solutions to improve the printing experience from the web browser. To accomplish this, I conducted 15 taped interviews with college students aged 19 to 23. In these interviews, they were asked questions about their current printing behaviors when using web browsers, problems they've identified, and potential solutions. From the interviews, I identified several problems. The top five in order were extraneous information such as ads and site navigation being on the printout, more pages than necessary being printed, improper formatting, confusion about what will print, and incomplete images or images that span multiple pages. I also asked the interview subjects about potential solutions to the problem. Analysis of the identified problems and potential solutions led me to believe that the solution was to create a dynamic print preview. That is, a print preview that is editable. This last minute fine tuning will allow the user to make changes to what will get printed out without having to export the web page into a third party application like Microsoft Word or Adobe Photoshop. I started the design process by listing all of the problems that were identified in the research and deciding what the best solution to each problem would be. Once I had the list of solutions, I started drawing them up as a paper prototype. The prototype uses sticky notes for buttons, index card for contextual information, and resized printouts of a Facebook web page for the example. To evaluate the paper prototype, I conducted interviews with three of my previous subjects with a few tasks to have them accomplish using the paper prototype system with me acting as the computer. After each interview, I made small modifications to the interface. For example, the button that reverts back to the original printout was initially called Restart, but that was confusing to a couple of the users, so upon recommendation by one of them, I renamed it to Start Over, which made its meaning more clear in subsequent interviews. This is an early revision of my paper prototype. Once I was satisfied with the paper prototype, I created a mock-up in Photoshop of a more realistic interface. The final design could be implemented as a Firefox extension that abstracts one level from the print dialog, instead presenting the user with a dynamic print preview where they can make changes to the printout and then print it onto paper. I'll now demo the interaction of my final design. Instead of going to File Print, the user will click the Dynamic Print Preview button in his browser's toolbar, which will bring up the application window. As an example, I'll demo the user selecting to print the picture and basic text from this Facebook page. First, the user clicks the Select tool. Upon mousing over, he has provided contextual information about the tool. Once he selects the tool, the print preview area fades. The user needs to select the parts of the page he wishes to print. I'll click the photo and the text to the right of it. Once they're both selected, I click Optimize, which removes all the unselected data. And then I click Print, which presents me the familiar print dialog. Finally. I'd like to discuss how my project affects the environment. One big problem with printing from the browser is that the user doesn't know what they're going to get until they have the printout in their hand. This creates some problems for the environment. Extra ink is wasted because elements like navigation and ads that the user doesn't need or care about get printed, and extra paper is wasted because more pages than the user expected or needed gets printed out and thrown away. By giving the user an, ex an exact preview of what will be printed and giving them the control to make changes to that printout, the application can conserve both ink and paper, in turn helping minimize environmental impact. Thank you for taking the time to learn about Dynamic Print Preview, my 2008 informatics capstone project. Marshall out.